Hi everyone, I am Gautam, I am physics faculty. In last class, we discussed about some concepts like stress, deforming force, restoring force, rigid body and what is about elasticity property and what is a plastic body. Like that, some definitions we came across in our last video. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about the topic of strain. What is strain? We are going to discuss now. So here, if you observe the strain definition, you can observe like this. See here, strain definition, what I have given? The deformation produced per unit magnitude. That means, for example, for example, let me take a body of length L. So by applying the deforming force, what will happen? The length of the rod will increase. There is a change in dimension. So here, actual length is how much? L. Now, because of applying this deformation force, length has been increased from L to L plus delta L. So this delta L I am calling it as increase in length. Delta L I am calling it as increase in length. So because of applying this deformation force, the length has been changed. That what we are calling it as strain. There is some change in dimension. That is what we are calling strain as. It is a ratio of change in dimension to original dimension. That means simply now strain is called as delta L by L. That means what is delta L? Change in length. What is L? Original length. So the definition is, what is the definition means? Strain is nothing but change in dimension to original dimension. That is the definition for strain. So whenever strain is there, so there is change in dimension to original dimension. Okay, what about its units? Coming to the units, observe what I told strain. Suppose for example, just now I told change in length by original length. So length units, change in length means that is also length only. So length units means meter and here L also meter. I can cancel meter, meter. That means this strain don't have any units. So I can simply say no units. And obviously here we can also observe that there are no dimensions. So because in numerator what quantity is there? Same type of quantity is there in denominator. So we can say no units and dimensions for strain. So what is strain means? The deformation produced per unit magnitude. And strain is there now. We can write in the formula wise. Change in dimension to original dimension. There are different types of strains that we'll discuss little later. Now, I think you got idea about the simple meaning of strain. Strain means something has been changed there. Now, let us see one important topic that is Hooke's law. Very, very important topic it is Hooke's law. So, what is this Hooke's law? Means here you can observe very clearly within the elastic limit, within the elastic limit. That means, suppose you have taken rubber band and you applied the force like that. So it will stretch. If you stretch more and more and more, what will happen? It loses its elastic nature. It also loses its elastic nature. It has to some limit will be there. For every body, it has some limit. If you stretch more than that limit, the elastic nature of the body will lose. So, now what we are going to discuss about Hooke's law means that has to be discussed within elastic limit. Within elastic limit. So, generally what they have given here, stress is directly proportional to strain. Suppose, if you apply some force here. If you apply little force, that means small force I applied. Suppose I applied small force. So what will happen? It stretches to this much amount. Small force I applied. So small stretch. Suppose if I apply large force. Instead of small force, I apply large force. 
then it stretches more it stretches more down so large force applied more stretch that means actually stress is nothing but what we wrote force by area if you apply more force automatically for that unit cross sectional area you are applying more force that is more stress more stress you can observe this is a more elongation more elongation because strain is what elongation by that is change in length change in length is also called elongation by original length so strain is change in length by original length what is stress force by area so more force more stress so more stress is there automatically we can observe more strain so from this information what we observe is stress is more stress is more automatically the strain in the body is also more from this information this is in what condition they mentioned within elastic limit within elastic limit stress is directly proportional to strain that is called as hooke's law now what they did here means stress is directly proportional to strain you told and if you want to remove this proportionality constant proportionality symbol proportionality symbol if you want to remove we have to use some proportionality constant that constant i have taken it as now what e capital e so to remove this proportionality symbol i am using the proportionality constant capital e question arises what is capital e capital e is nothing but what is capital e modulus of elasticity it is called as modulus of elasticity so capital e is called modulus of elasticity and here stress is directly proportional to strain and here we got stress is equal to e into strain that proportionality constant e only called as modulus of elasticity so that is about hooke's law information from hooke's law information what we noticed one new term modulus of elasticity we got what is this modulus of elasticity in detail we'll see now now here you observe first of all modulus of elasticity means e equal to stress by strain sir how you got this formula e equal to stress by strain we didn't write no no till now no we wrote that one observe here what i wrote stress is equal to e into strain stress equal to e into strain is nothing but e equal to stress by strain so i wrote this one e equal to stress by strain here stress is si units Newton per meter square strain SI units strain don't have units at all. So what we can say as strain don't have any units, no units. Simply modulus of elasticity also have same units as stress. Already in last video I discussed about stress SI units. That is about Newton per meter square. And CGS units, what I told, dyne per centimeter square. So same thing. S I unit of stress is Newton per meter square. So modulus of elasticity units also Newton per meter square. And CGS units of stress is dyne per centimeter square. And uh, even for modulus of elasticity also same thing, dyne per centimeter square. Okay. And even when the units are same. we can say now dimensional formula is also same same dimensional formula as stress stress dimensional formula m1 l minus 1 t power minus 2 here also for modulus of elasticity also we are getting the same formula so i think now you understood the units of stress and modulus of elasticity are same same units and dimensions same units and dimensions for what quantities stress and modulus of elasticity and no units for strain no units and dimension formula for strain okay it is very simple we can understand about these things now let us see the next one now generally whenever we are taking some graphs suppose now i am going to do some graph work here simply i have taken stress on y axis strain on x axis 
and just now what we told within elastic limit this graph also a drawing within elastic limit this graph is drawn within elastic limit within elastic limit so within elastic limit what we can write yes stress is directly proportional to strain so directly proportional when our directly proportional is there simply you know that we have to draw one straight line passing through origin in the graphs beta y is proportional to x what type of graph will get means straight line graph when our y is proportional to x we have we can write simply we'll get straight line graph straight line graph and this is the graph we can write you can observe here see stress is taken on y axis strain is taken on x axis and this is the graph this is the graph is straight line passing through origin like that and you observe this is angle theta so if you draw any graph and you got suppose this is a straight line what is the slope of the graph slope of the graph means clearly you can observe what is slope formula slope of a graph is equal to tan theta tan theta what is tan theta generally now this equation passing through origin means y equal to mx what is y axis term stress what is x axis term i have taken strain so i can write stress is equal to modulus of elasticity into strain so here what is m m is equal to e i got now from that actually slope is nothing but in a straight line graph m indicates slope so here this is a line equation line equation is what y equal to mx straight line equation y equal to mx m is called as slope slope is what generally we call tan theta tan theta is nothing but what we can write now e already e we know that e is equal to stress by strain e is equal to stress by strain that means you can clearly observe now slope of stress strain graph is nothing but modulus of elasticity slope of stress strain graph is modulus of elasticity that is the information provided related to stress strain graph which is under elastic limit elastic limit i hope you got idea about the graph now so straight line graph and slope of stress strain graph will give us modulus of elasticity that is the information now let us see the next point here we understood about slope after this here if you observe about e see here about e what is the information we have e is called modulus of elasticity and e is independent on dimensions e is independent on dimensions of the body because where we got this value of e if you observe it is a proportionality constant e is proportionality constant it is independent on dimensions it does not depend how much length is there how much area is there like that e does not depend so e does not depend on dimension dimensions means length and area of cross section like that then on what factors e depends e means it is nothing but it explains the property of material depends on property of material nature of material so it does not depend on what factor dimensions it does not depend on dimensions simply depends on what nature of material or property of material is a proportionality constant what we got when we wrote stress is directly proportional to strain the proportionality constant is e so as is a proportionality constant it is independent on what dimensions and it is a pro it will explain as depends on what factors it depends means simply we say depends on property of material 
that you can observe here independent on dimensions depends on property of material what is that modulus of elasticity i hope you are clear with this one now we will see the next point now we are going to discuss this concept of our mechanical properties of solids mainly in this chapter i am making into three categories what i am making into categories when the solid we are changing in terms of length change in length and again second category change in volume third category change in shape so the total concept i made into three categories one as change in length one as change in volume one concept name i gave it as change in shape so now we will discuss about change in length concept change in length concept okay what is this change in length concept first what happened means already i gave introduction when i was discussing about uh, strain so here you observe this is the length l by applying the force what happened i am able to stretch and i am able to change the length so the change in length let me write it as e e is also called as elongation elongation generally either we can write with the v or delta l anything is okay delta l is also change in length e is also change in length particularly in this topic i am calling this as elongation i am calling it as elongation or we can also call change in length change in length no issue in that regard either you can call elongation or change in length that is not a big issue so by applying the force the length has been changed so force acting on the cross sectional area of this one made to change the length this is a deforming force how much you deform that much restoring force will be developed so here the stress actually just now we discussed about one term is called as stress other term is called as strain and one more term is what modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity like that we discussed uh, three points before coming to this topic now first of all the stress related to whenever we are discussing about length change concept length change concept you can observe here what is heading i kept here change in length whenever we are discussing the change in length concept the stress is called as longitudinal stress and whenever we are discussing about uh, that is uh, the concept of change in length the strain is called as longitudinal strain longitudinal during change in length the stress is called as longitudinal stress and strain is called as longitudinal strain and final one this modulus of elasticity we are calling it as young's modulus young's modulus we are calling it as young's modulus the modulus of elasticity in this regard when change in length the concept we are discussing we call it as young's modulus so you know what is modulus of elasticity means you used to say stress by strain here young's modulus means longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain longitudinal stress by longitudinal Additionally, for this stress and strain, we are putting longitudinal, longitudinal. Why we are putting longitudinal, longitudinal? Because the concept is related to length change. So we are using the term longitudinal, longitudinal. And modulus of elasticity, they have given name as Young's modulus, and they are representing with y. So I can write y equal to longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain. Okay, what is longitudinal stress? F by y. What is longitudinal strain? E by L. You can observe very clearly here. So here, what I wrote, Y is equal to F by Y. This is longitudinal stress. And what is longitudinal strain? E by L. So from here, I can also write F L by A E. E means elongation. L means original length. A means cross sectional area. F means force. Force. so this is the formula for young's modulus young's modulus i hope you are clear with this young's modulus concept so these are the things what i discussed till now 
and uh, what we have observed from starting once again we'll see here in today's topic first uh, my journey started from taking the explanation for strain strain after strain we discussed about hooke's law from hooke's law we got about modulus of elasticity there we discussed units and dimensions after that what we discussed the about the graph related to this modulus of elasticity concept then we gave it is independent on dimension depends on property of material then we told there are three concepts mainly in this chapter one related to change in length other related to change in volume other related to change in shape now our first target what we have given is change in length so here i discussed about change in length concept here stress related to this topic longitudinal stress strain related to this topic longitudinal strain and modulus of elasticity related to this one young small less like that same application i have done for change in length so in our next concepts we'll discuss some applications on young's modulus later slowly we can enter into change in volume concept and change in shape so in this video i am ending till here and we'll continue the further topics in next video thank you everyone